Uh, I could actually end all three of my stocks IRL. I can't lie. I, I recorded a video today. Um, oh, like completely. Uh, and then I just went to edit it, and there's, there's no audio. There's no game audio. There's no mic audio. So, so, so I, I, we're just gonna do a quick replay review instead because I haven't uploaded in like two days. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I feel like I should definitely upload something. So, like yesterday. Yeah, this was yesterday. Was it? The date is American on Brawl, I think, but it's British on my computer. It's messing with my head. I, I'm pretty sure this was yesterday. Uh, but I queued Hermson and ranked up the best of three. Uh, won the first, lost the second, won the third. I'm assuming you don't want to see a win. Uh, so, I'll go with this one, I think, maybe. I, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, I picked up, picked up a Zuri. I'm on the Zuri right now. I'm trying to hit 2,500. I, I, I just I keep getting 2,450 and then going down. I, so, I think I'm going to stream trying to get 25 uh and yeah uh, I, I don't know tune in for that follow me on twitch i guess but before we get into this really quickly before i shut up uh subscribe we're like 800 off uh 20k which is fucking ridiculous uh i think when i hit 20k i'm gonna do like a q a with face cam and everything so if you want to see that just subscribe if you're not already and it also just supports me a lot so yeah finally uh can i actually get into the replay so yeah, I already played two games against him at this point, so I was kind of like familiar. Uh, I mean, I started, I think, a Justin Wardis game, but he plays like in the air a lot, uh, which is something that it kind of took getting used to for me. Uh, but but yeah, here just just literally just some neutral. I should have woken up out of this the, straight away. A mistake. Um, if uh, I guess it wouldn't have worked, but it, I guess, I don't know. It, I guess he kind of read it, but okay. So this. Um, Reverse there because I'm at low health, right? Uh, as you can see, if I just wake up with like any move here, if he tries to go for any single follow up, if he if he tries to do anything, right? You see, during the actual move, he put his momentum backwards, and this is some like scythe counterplay because I know everyone hates scythe, and they always ask me because I always say I know some Scythe can't play and shit. People are like, well, what is it then? So I, I thought I'd go over this. But yeah, during the Scythe there, he stops the drift of the move. This is the only way to prevent me waking up and getting a 100% guaranteed hit on him. If he carried on the momentum of this there during the move, you see uh, he would have ended up around here, right? Uh, instead, because he stopped it during the move, he ended up here. What he did by doing that, though, is it means he could. there's nothing he can do to follow up at this point because he's stopped all his momentum. Uh, but... If he did intend on trying to follow up and doing anything like that, right? Like uh, most side players would 99% of the time. Um, literally all I have to do is sword and light and it would cancel out anything he tries to go for. If he even tries to chase or through, I'm I'm out of end lag. Oh, sorry. I'm out of stun before he's out of end lag. So it even, even catches, I can wake up before he can even chase or through my wake up. Uh, so that, yeah, that's something you have to watch out for if you're playing Scythe and if, if you're playing against Scythe. If you have any quick move like a hammer and light, unarmed is perfect for it. Any unarmed move really. Uh, well, not any, but you know, end light on there or GC end light, something like that. Sword and light. Yeah, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. You can just wake up out of uh, dares on the ground uh, and also in the air too. But I don't know. Uh, if that situation occurs, I guess I will uh, show you a lot. Uh, yeah, here I'm just. This, if you play sword, just please make use of this. Um, but it's just grounded recoveries, right? Like, it will just catch because let's say here, right? He misses this move. Uh, I didn't know he was going to go for this move. Another option he could have done was, was jump, expecting me to dare to punish his last move, right? So let's say this. He might think I'm, I'm going to land on him with a dare. So he's going to jump to avoid that and then punish my dare. If I go for recovery. It catches him if he doesn't do that, which he didn't, and it would have also caught him if he jumped to avoid my dare. So the recovery is just a safer option. It also kills as well. Uh, obviously, dare you have more fallout potential, but this is like more guaranteed to hit. So that's kind of like the the trade off between them. And right, you see, I'm literally doing it again, just because, like I said, he, he's like a very kind of jumpy player. So yeah, uh, here's just I just punish his move. Um, here he misses that. Uh, and then I just jump and then just yeah, go for the, the in read uh, and get D-Light recovery. Um, I probably should have D-Light said, if I'm being honest, just to maintain more stage control. Uh, but I don't know. Because the thing with Sword is it's like really strong at juggling. So it, it, it kind of doesn't matter. But Sarah could have led to a KO because he would have been off the stage. So maybe I should have said. 
Um, yeah, there's that. Once again, you see how he kind of backs off. He doesn't go for it. Uh, just in case I'm still able to, to wake up. Uh, swap over to the Katars. And just in there, it's all you have to do on Katars, really. Uh, he reads my second there, so he dodges up out of the way. But yeah, there, I, I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Like, this is an option if you want to... Like, if, you know, if you, if you get to the health where you get to a lot on Katars, where your opponent is literally in, like, fucking obsidian black health... And just nothing is KOing. This option can work because it, it like it will KO at that percentage, like regardless. But here, he wouldn't have died to it. And I would also I'd just be putting him onto the stage when he's already in a bad position off stage. So this was just a really shit option. I, I don't know why I'd go for that. Um, instead, I could have literally just reacted to this dodge. Well, to be fair, it was close, but it's, it's still it's the wrong option. Um, but I literally could have just said, and he'd have died. Uh, sad this way so yeah it was bad by me i tried to kind of cover myself like uh i guess turn this shit option into a bait thinking he'd obviously come up and, and try and nair me uh so thinking he'd come up to try and nair me uh i just tried to say to cancel that out and maybe get ko which i think it probably would have ko'd uh but no he, he didn't get up quick enough so he managed to punish that within there uh and then yeah this is this is dangerous on scythe uh you just kind of need to like this is where you just die Against side players. Initially, you need to avoid this sir uh, that I got hit by. Once you've been hit by this sir, uh, you're pretty much dead. Uh, just try and remember to save your recovery for as long as possible though. Because you, you see, if I'd have used my recovery trying to get back to stage here and then got hit by this sir, uh, I would only had a, uh, I would only have had a jump and a dodge to get back. But because I saved my recovery, I have recovery, jump and a dodge. So I have more chance. Well, I guess a second chance. Uh, and then punish that. Um, the reason I went for recovery there it's just one because it's the more guaranteed follow-up and also because the, the the weapon was on the stage anyway. So I can literally just recover from my weapon away and then just get this weapon. So it's a decent option there. I tried to go for uh, a GCD light um, to try and catch his landing, uh, which would have worked if I'd have dodged in time. Uh, oh no, I think I just went straight for a recovery actually. I should have gone for GCD light uh, actually. Um, here should have been a dodge. Should have dash jumped, dodged here, dodged the sair. And then punish with a, a GCD light. Um, but unfortunately not. And then yeah, here's just an obvious recovery. I always tell you a lot. And it's like the biggest tip is some moves are just obvious. And uh, like uh, it's, it's it's such like like clear advice. Like it's it's not even good advice. Well, it is good advice, but the advice is obvious. Um, but just, just look out for the obvious things. Because sometimes you won't think about it. But you really should be thinking, okay, if I was my opponent, what would I do right now? I pick up this weapon, I'm in the air, a recovery probably kills me here, so I'm like, okay, he's going to unarmed recovery here, like 100%. So I just position myself in a way where, uh, oh, I guess it's here even, position myself in a way where I can avoid it, uh, and I dodge it here, and then just go for the, the d recovery to kill. Because, um, yeah, obviously that's going to kill, so... Yeah, just, just be aware of the obvious things. What, what you know for a fact is, like, your opponent's most obvious choice. Uh, here I hit recovery, so recovery, recovery is actually true. Uh, you can see even DI's out of it to the right, um, just in case uh, you didn't know that. But yeah, since the last patch, if you have seven decks plus, just if you ever hit recovery and they're like kind of low health, just go for another one and it'll be true. And, and then here I do some grandpa fucking reactions. I, he dodges it down and in, which could have literally just been a side light for me, uh, or even a D light, anything really, and I, I would have got a lot of damage. But instead, I could have just dared as well. Like, there could have been so much shit I did. Um, but instead, I react way too late. <laughs> and I try and nair. I, I, I don't know. I just It was just some grandpa reactions. Uh, so yeah, uh, wasted opportunity for damage there. Uh, that was good by him, actually. Um, probably the last patch that would have hit. <laughs> I won't lie. Um, but yeah, the weapon throw down. And then using the bounce to get a GC, uh, GCD light. Okay, uh, and and then here it's okay. This is the, a weird thing about Katarsis. You don't really know if they have their dodge back or not. Uh, so I hit. Uh, sorry, there. I, to be fair, I should have just gone side light, end light, but I just went straight into the end light, which is the wrong option. Like I said, I should have gone side light, end light, or side light, D light. Um, but then here, I didn't want to go for recovery because it's like, well, he's touched the ground, so he probably has his dodge back at this point. Because like, like I said, you never really know. So I just tried to kind of follow his movement. He went down, so I went for a dare. 
And then here I made the, the, the rookie mistake on Qatar's, which is all my muscle memory from the fucking 100 levels of Mordex I have um, <laughs> on Gaunt's. On Qatar's, if your, your opponent, after you hit Dare, has like two options, right? It's you go right or left. That's pretty much it. That's all you can do. Or you can spot dodge. Like, because you're on the ground after a Dare, you can't dodge up. You can't do any of that. So you just have to go right or left. But if you chase dodge, like I do here, they can go say inwards faster than you can read it so yeah you have to just not do the chase torch and literally just turn around and do side like so I, yeah uh the counterplay to that in, in case you were, you were wondering because it's like well then obviously you can just always react um but you have to remember if here i just stood still waiting to see if he'd go you know in or away and then reacted to it in the time it takes for me to go in or away he could just go on to end night so that's always the mix-up you can go for you can either dodge uh you know expecting them to to kind of you know not react or i guess react wrong or guess wrong or if you think they're literally just going to stand still and react to you you can just end light and wake up him and then yeah uh, but yeah because i chase dodge as well um i also had no dodge so i got satellite recoveried guaranteed which is unfortunate uh there i went for the jump read uh, but he didn't jump obviously um and then here yeah i just wasted too many options before i landed uh, but the thing is, is even if you've used all your options, you can still just dare, like always remember that if you're unarmed, like that's going to catch out so many people. If I had dared to the right, it would have hit. Um, but yeah, I dared the wrong way. And there he went for the jump read, but I didn't jump. Just some matchup knowledge against Gaunts. Uh, and then here, yeah, I go for the end sig, thinking he might recovery. Didn't know. Uh, like here with this uh, dare, I could have GC end lighted. And it, it would it, it would have came out way before his uh, so that, yeah that, that's what I was kind of talking about earlier just you know for some more examples so you kind of know what I'm talking about with a the scythe counter play and shit uh, but then that always 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 a weapon like sword axe anything that you can attack above with hammer just make sure you're returning to the wall within there um, sometimes it can be punished but like 99% of the time it's your safest option because if he tried to come down and do anything to me this this net would have just completely just shut it down. So I get to touch a wall for free. He kind of rushes the ground pound. Uh, I get this <laughs> scuff there. And then I just kind of fall off the stage and weapon throw because he's kind of forced to take this. Pick up the weapon uh, just in case he gets his dodge back so I can go for a second there. But he doesn't. And then, yeah, that's death. Um, yeah, nothing too much to say about that, really. Uh, just, I guess, make use of weapon throws. And also, I mean, I guess I could say that it's like, it's really useful to pick up the weapon throws a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes though, and it depends on like how damaged they are, and I've been killed by it a lot, especially on Katars, like I'll hit a Katars weapon throw, I'll try and go pick up the weapon and then I'll get punished for picking up the weapon like this, it, say I'd have picked it up a little bit lower or I'd done something wrong, he could have just nared me, saved himself and then reversed the gimp completely, so sometimes it's not worth going for, but here it was just safe, and it also allowed me to, because I didn't know when he used his dodge, I still don't, I don't remember him ever using his dodge, but he doesn't have it, so yeah, um, it just, you know, gives me, I guess, peace of mind that even if he does get his dodge back, I'm still here with my sword ready to dare and completely just not allowed that. So, yeah, that's just the advantage of doing that, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, last stock. This, this, the last stock was kind of scuffed. Can't lie, it was some Katars cringe. And Katars are the master of just gimping in, like, free moves when you just shouldn't be able to. Uh, Nerdy, like, went for the two combo. Uh, Chase dodge through his... Uh, side like that or say even um and then yeah just kind of trying to play a bit grounded and then yeah th this is this is pretty much death at this point actually i lied i think he survives uh but yeah just read the, the down and in because he did that before if you remember earlier that was kind of like the way he was moving uh so this time he uses dodge in that direction so then i go for the the d light there because this is guaranteed now thank god uh, since the last patch, <laughs> Katar's buffs, man. Interesting. Uh, but then I thought, and I, I should have not done this, but if they don't have a dodge, right, uh, uh, this Nair is like basically death if it hits, right? Um, however, he got his dodge back. So I was just kind of lucky that he dodged in a way that allowed my Nair to hit. Uh, so, yeah, because if it didn't, I, I probably would have died, to, especially against Gaunts. Uh, but I, I should have just known that you know, because he's, he's like, Katar's there, put your opponent on the ground, right? So as soon as he's done this, it's like, 
he's going to get his dodge back very shortly. So I should have known he'd have it back for this. Uh, so just kind of a bad mistake by me. Uh, I think he'd still not have a dodge. Uh, but yeah, hit that just cringe recovery. Should never have hit. Uh, and then, yeah, Sarah against the wall. I always literally just fucking Sarah against the wall like a crackhead. And it will work because it's like it's so good because not only does it cover like the entire wall. Obviously here it didn't, but I, I didn't need it to. Right, but if you want it to, it will literally cover this entire Demon Island wall, right? But not only that, it also moves you into the wall. Like, that, this is why the Katar's there against the wall is so good. And also Katar's there into the wall. Because it's like, let's say on, a, on another weapon, let's say I Scythe there against the wall. Uh, if I want to go for like a Scythe true combo, like Dare Dare or Dare Ground Pond or something, I'm not going to touch the wall after my, my Scythe there, right? Uh, so it's like, it limits how I can follow up. But, like, because of this sir, I guess it, it didn't really hit the same way. Because, like, I didn't touch the wall. It put me back on the stage. But let's say it didn't put me back on stage and it just made me kind of brush against the wall here. It refreshes all my options, which means I can go in even harder with that edge guard afterwards. Same with Katar's there. It, it goes down, it covers the entire wall, and it also refreshes all your options. So it's like, yeah, it just allows you to, to kind of get all your options back and just go even harder for that edge guard. Whereas something like Scythe... Axe there against the wall, sword there against the wall. It doesn't put you in the wall, so you, you you have limited options, and you probably also spent a few options getting the dare in the first place. So it's like then you have to reset to the wall, then go back out for the edge guard. But it's like you know, Katas is all kind of built into the moves, um, and then <laughs> yeah, this is literally the end of the game. So I don't even know why I'm chatting too much, but uh, I'll just go over this last bit one more time. Uh, miss that there, and then Saren to the wall. Had no dodge here. So I just dash off, go for the dare, um, which is just perfect against like any weapon that recovers vertically. Um, I guess if I was playing against something like Scythe, I'd have said again, because that would have covered like a Scythe recovery or something like that. But because Gaunt's recovery is vertical, like I can avoid the recovery um, and then just, yeah, <laughs> get this dare for free. And then that's, that's death. Um, if I wanted to, to be fair, I could also have just said, but it just, I just didn't need it. Uh, and, and yeah, I thought it'd be safer without. To be honest, the weapon throw, um, I wouldn't recommend ever <laughs> going for a weapon throw here. Because sometimes what you can do is like, if you throw your weapon, if it hits them, it will do like no knockback, right? So all it will be doing is giving them a jump. And in all that time, they'll probably get their dodge back as well. So it's like you're giving them two options by trying to give them, if that makes sense. So yeah, sometimes the weapon throws are like kind of risky, but yeah, it, it didn't matter. It didn't hit anyway, so... Yeah, um, that, that that's that's the game. Like I said, I, I, I didn't even want to record this video today. I wanted to do a video on a different legend. A uh, legend that is extremely underplayed. I'll make that tomorrow again, for fuck's sake. And uh, yeah, look out for the rank streams, I guess, because I'm, I'm trying to hit 2,500, man. It's hard, though, because no one plays the fucking game. No one is in the queue, unfortunately. But anyway, hopefully you lot enjoyed. If you did, like I said, leave a like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a great few days. Peace.